I could call Skip Finley, is he here? Here he is, right front and center. Talk about Renee Balter. Thank you, sir. You can read the book. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Folks, how are you? I'm, I'm delighted to be here. I'm glad you all came. Prepared some remarks. Um, it, it, it's funny, you know, when you when you meet people and you work with them for a long time. <clears throat> I actually remember the day I fell in love with Renee Balter. It was April 8th, 2003. I happened to be at the annual National Association of Broadcasters convention when Renee called me to tearfully tell me the Cottage City Historic District article had passed unanimously on the first vote. This was despite the Byzantine politics of Oak Bluffs, the island's second smallest town. Back then, we're the only town without such regulation, Edgartown, Tisbury, and West Tisbury having passed bylaws years before. I joined Winnie's committee hoping for that result and she clearly exhibited the leadership needed to accomplish that. And she served as our new commission's first chairman where she was a member for more than a decade. Winnie's efforts in 1990 led to the establishment of the Oak Bluffs Association in 1991. The association today is a voluntary, gr voluntary group of over 130 businesses and community members dedicated to promoting the natural beauty and historical charm of Oak Bluffs with the goal of helping the town, its citizens, and businesses, th businesses thrive. A founding member of the Martha's Vineyard Center for the Visual Arts, Winnie also deserves credit for her unflagging support of the Oak Bluffs Arts District. I see Holly Lamo is here, her buddy, who has certainly helped with that, especially since, since she's an artist whose work captures the spirit and importance of the Victorian architecture of Oak Bluffs. She and her husband, Bruce, owned the historic Titicut Follies Cottage on Narragansett Avenue, around the corner from where I grew up on Pequot. Titicut Follies, built in 1870, is one of 300 homes listed on the 1978 Massachusetts Historical Commission and was once owned by Charles Strahan, the owner of the Cottage City Star, and the man who gifted Oak Bluffs with the statue of the Confederate soldier across from Trinity Church. Martha's Vineyard Museum's Martha's Vineyard Medal honors leaders in the community who have had an outstanding commitment to preserve the history, arts, and culture of the island. Weenie exemplifies that commitment. Just to be sure, I looked up the word commitment in my handy Webster's Dictionary, and there's this picture of Weenie Baller. <laughs> <laughs> the choice was easy. Weenie, thank you so much, and congratulations. Come on up. I was going to wear it, a medal, you know. I don't know what to say. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I probably get very emotional. Uh, I always wanted to be here. I came here in 1954 as a waitress at the Menemsha Inn. And uh, then I spent 30 years trying to figure out how I could live here and be part of the community. And in 1981, my husband and I moved here, or we, we bought Titicate Follies, and then we moved here in 1987. And then becoming part of the Oak Bluffs Association and the Historical Commission and getting the Historic District and, and just being part of a really wonderful community. Uh, Oak Bluffs is, uh, really special. And I remember when I was first here, I was in the post office, which I love to do, by the way, every single day. It's just such a great experience, part of the whole ambiance of the island. But there were two men talking, and one said to the other, you know, he said, I can't figure it out. All these people, they love the vineyard, love the vineyard, they can't wait to get here. And then as soon as they get here, they want to make it like where they came from. And I stood there and I thought, oh my God, I hope they never say that about me. <laughs> because one of the things that I love so much about the vineyard, every year that I used to come on vacation, the first thing I'd do was make 
a, a check of everything that was here, and I would hope that it was still here. W landmarks, uh, the beaches, the, the events, and you know, everything that happened here. And um, I guess that's why I wanted to get involved with the historic preservation and why I think it's so important. Um, and then, as I developed my career as an artist, that's what I wanted to paint. And I love buildings downtown in Oak Bluffs. So I guess I just, I don't get out of Oak Bluffs too often. I, I really devote most of my time to being there and um, enjoying it. So I thank you so much for this wonderful, wonderful honor. And um, I'm, just, I'm just really so thrilled to receive it. And thanks, everybody, for coming. Thank you.